Hi, Jess. How are you? Hello, Jess. It's Yvette from Spirit Girl, live from the Maldives. Can you believe it? I made it. Hi, Beck. So good to see you joining in. I'll try and get my selfie stick out. If not, I will, um, I'll turn it around for a quick second. I'm from Com Cocoa Island in the Maldives. Spirit girl, spirit boys. It's so beautiful here. I wanted to take you for a little walk this morning, like a little tour, but just a little sneak peek into Como Coco Island in the Maldives, which is in Mal, and it's about a 40-minute, 30 30-minute 30 speedboat ride from the Mal Airport. And this resort I'm staying at is by Como Hotels and Resort, and it's a Como Shambhala Spa that's here, which is all about health and wellness. Um, but the whole resort is based on Como Shambhala principles, which is just coming to a place where it's relaxing and where you can find bliss. And it's centered around things like the spa therapy and health and wellness. So through yoga, body, mind, spirit, through healthy eating, though there's lots of um, food choices. So it's not like you come here to be vegan or detox and things like that. It's just more that there's like fresh steamed fruits, uh, like vegetables or you can choose salads or you can still have healthy pizzas. Um, they still have a cocktail list, mocktail list um, and all the finer things, but you can just come here and just sort of chill out even if you're on your own. Um, so it's a beautiful place for solo girls or women um, who are on their own and maybe think that coming to the Maldives is just for honeymooners. So this place definitely isn't for that. There's repeat customers that come here every year. There's couples, yes, but there's still um, people like myself who are here on a solo trip finding places that are beautiful for spirit girls to come to um, even if they're still on their own um, and traveling. So I'm going to turn this around. And Vex says, you're so lucky. That looks amazing. Hi to everyone from the Maldives. I'm going to so you can see that. So thank you for everyone joining in. You'll notice over the last couple of weeks, I haven't been doing the traditional blog posting on Spa It Girl. And the reason being, I just want to take you with me on some of my Spa It Girl journeys. Because um, I think it's a really nice thing to be able to share with you places that I'm going to and personally love. So here you go. So first of all, as you can see, if you come for a swim, all you have to do is walk down the stairs and it's crystal clear water. Ah, oh, Joyce. Hello, Joyce. I've got to turn this around. That was my W Hotel Bliss Spa. Uh, facial Spa. Uh, Therapist, sorry, I'm so excited to see Joyce joining in. So, hello, Joyce. Hello, Spirit Girls from Hong Kong. I love you all. Okay, I'll go back. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so this is pretty cool. So, you just come straight down. You go into your crystal clear water. And on the sunrise, it's amazing here. Mainish says, you are so lucky. Thank you, Mainish. I truly am blessed to be here. It was always my dream to come to the Maldives, but as a spa reviewer and writer not just um yeah so it's taking me so long to get here but I'm finally here now as the founder of Spirit Girl okay so thank you so much Mainish Joyce says ah oh, hello I love it thank you Joyce so here's your little overwater villa and I'll give you a sneak peek in a minute when you look at that, you think it's just one level, but it's actually two. It's got a loft bedroom. Okay, so as you can see, it is true that the colours of the Maldives, um, as some people say it, or us in Australia, Maldives, is crystal clear and it's turquoise. And just out through here is where everyone goes snorkeling, just, you know, around. Um, I've been swimming out here and it's just beautiful, but there's lots to do here. And I'm just going to show you the day bed. So I've been hanging out on here on the big day bed, just relaxing. 
and then like looking back this way. So that's the view from my overwater villa at Como Coco Island. So this is just really beautiful because you go straight out and you can just swim in the water or if you want to go snorkeling. Yesterday I saw um, people doing stand-up paddle boarding. Sometimes you'll see the beautiful speedboats go by. You'll see fish jumping. There's just so much, like the view is just spectacular and really beautiful. So that's kind of like the day bed, just to chill, and then you go out for a swim. I should say I had a cup of coffee here this morning, so that was my little coffee place. And I wanted to show you this because you can actually swim up here. There's some stairs, and that goes straight into an outdoor shower, which I'll show you. And the other time I did a live feed, I walked out, I think, into the water, but the peak is quite high of the roof. And what's really beautiful is you have these open like bifold doors and this has kind of just been another little place where I've been hanging out at night, just relaxing. And some nights I've been really tired because I've been on the go for so long over the last couple of weeks, but even like the last year. Um, so because I'm at the Maldives, I've just really decided just to chill out um, for us as Spirit Girls, for my site, not to be pumping out just loads of um, blogs. I only like to produce um, like a blog post that I really love or that I feel that's going to help you, you know, be your best version. I just don't want to be pumping out blogs for the sake of blogs, like a lot of sites. So I want it to be really personal Spirit Girl about people who love to come to the day spa, spa travel, a community for spa therapists, a community for people who just love feeling healthy and well through yoga, wellness, being kind, loving and nurturing themselves and through, you know, a network. Spirit Girl's all about creating the life you want to live and, and living your dreams. So as you can see here was one of my dreams of manifesting coming to the Maldives. It was my long life dream. And here I am. So it's so exciting. Okay. Joyce says, thank you for sharing Maldives. Is my dream place to visit. I feel that I'm there with you. Thank you, Joyce. You are so here with me, girls. And boys, spirit boys. Navin says, very nice. Thank you. Keep your comments coming through because I'm going to take you on a little tour with me. First of all, you must excuse the mess. I've been really living in this place, seriously making it my own. But you have a downstairs bath, which I actually had a bath last night. And I try and do that at all the places I stay just to relax. And what I love about Como is they have all of their own products. So Como Shambhala. And this was the invigorating bath salts I had. So it was so refreshing. So that's pretty much, whew, I'm going to show you the outdoor shower. I posted a photo of this because I really, really do personally love this outdoor shower. I just found it to be so cool. I'm going to try and like turn it on. Here goes. Okay. You're like literally with me now at the Maldives. Virtually we're here together. So that's sort of where you come up. So you finish your little swim. If you don't want to put water through the villa, you can just swim nicely up. And then you can just come up to here. And you can see the sun is really shining today. So the weather's been beautiful. It's a tiny little bit like a tropical, a um, little bit of a day overcast, a little bit of a shower. Yay, Joyce says, wow, I know. Here's the sun, Joyce, because I've just been in Hong Kong for like eight, I think it was eight days doing Spirit Girl visits to wellness um, spas, top spas, to workout studios to here. Okay, because like every great spa resort um, will have, of course, bathrobes. So this is the Como Shambhala bathrobe. Um, so that's what that looks like. Now at the actual spa itself, they have their own unique waffle spa.
uh, robe. It's very unique. It's only unique to Como Shambhala and you can only sort of get that at the spa. Um, and I posted a photo in front of one of the, like, flower beds just to show you. Oh, sorry, one of the bath beds just to show you what the robe looked like. Okay, so I'm upstairs now. So this is the view when you come out of the bedroom. And as you can see, there's this really big, massive living area. So it's just a really nice space to chill and relax and not have to worry about what train you're catching, what's your next appointment. You just relax and you just switch off and everywhere is beautiful. Okay, so here goes. Here's like the master bedroom, which I've had all to myself. Um, so Spirit Girls, if you've always wanted to come to the Maldives and you don't have anyone to come with or no one wants to come with you, don't worry. You can come to Como Coco Island and come by yourself and you won't feel alone at all. Now, I wanted to show you. <laughs> Obviously, this is the toilet room here, but this has to have the most impressive toilet view seriously this is phenomenal so when you are finished <laughs> I wanted to share this with you I know I know you're probably thinking not so ladylike showing you the toilet but I just thought it was really um special to show you as you can see there's some um couple customers walking around but you very rarely you see a few people but it's not like the walkways are swarmed like some mornings I might only pass Four people, even when I'm at the restaurant, it's not um, busy as such. Like there's so much intimate space and it's really beautiful. Um, and if you're on your own and you're traveling, it's okay. You can ask any of the staff to take photos of you um, and they'll kindly take photos of you. So that's a pretty cool view from your bedroom ensuite toilet okay so now that I've showed you that view because that was really like wow for me um I'm gonna take you outside now the villa and we're gonna go walk to the restaurant um area so Como Shambhala you can actually do um a few things like you can do full board if you want and it's actually really phenomenal um the food that you get is like entree, main, dessert, but it is the most amount of food I've ever seen. It's the most yummiest food, delicious, fresh. It's um, They have a lot of um, Maldivian local traditional food that they do here as well. And all I can say is you will never go hungry if you stay at Como Coco Island in the Maldives or or any really Como Shambhala hotel um, or resort around the world. They've, they've really got this amazing, like, menu and it's so giving and they're really open for you to just try anything. If you can't eat it all, it's okay. If you can eat it all, that's cool too. Um, but just, yeah, the food is phenomenal and I just think the value – for money that you get in terms of the full board um, is just so like stress-free and there's so much food and you don't have to worry about a thing. So that's um, my little view from going out the front door. Now, fingers crossed we don't drop out, but if we do, that's okay. I just, hopefully I'll be able to take you along the walkway and over here is where there's like a the resort pool but it's so um, private and unique there's a little bar there's like a restaurant area um, but it's all open and that's where you can have breakfast your lunch or your dinner or sometimes like for me at night I just want to just chill out um, and literally not go anywhere so I can get room service so that's a really another beautiful thing spirit girls or boys if you're traveling to the mountain dogs on your own as well okay so I'm gonna grab my bag and I will take you on this walk because this is, I just really want to show you here while I'm here. And if anyone thinks live feeds are rocking it, let me know.
I really like I'm a visual person. So I really like to see things. Um, and I love live bee blogging, as you know. <laughs> That's what um, Spirit Girl's all about, is connecting with you live um, and sharing my personal experiences with you. So this is the view from my front door, which is really, really cool. Okay, that was the little, like, the upstairs area, and that was, like, where the toilet is, where I was looking at the view. I've actually spent quite a bit of time just each day just being fully present and actually sitting in that seat and just admiring the blue skies and just being grateful for being here and living my dream. So, okay, so that walkway over there, that actually takes you around to Como Shimpala. They've created a different space um, and it's where they have this beautiful energy. So when they did the yoga pavilion, they had to actually look for the energy at Como Shambhala and that's where they put everything in terms of the spa and the yoga. <laughs> so, yeah, so Como Shambhala Spa and the Yoga Pavilion are over here due to the energy. Sorry. Hello, morning. <laughs> Happy Coco, Coco Island customers who were waiting for me to go, but because I'm doing a live feed, I think, ah. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like from the outside, the water, over water villa. But there's two types of, um, well, there's a few different types of um, accommodation. But this is where I'm staying, just so you know. Okay, so then obviously when you're walking along, it's so beautiful. And even my V-blog, to be honest, in my live Spirit Girl Facebook feed, can't really show you the crisp colours, but the fresh air that I'm breathing in it, in my face. So, yes, the Mel's eye, especially at Coco Island or Como Coco Island, is truly a dream destination. But if your dream is one day to come to the Maldives, keep that dream. Don't lose it and just remember that one day you will get here. It may have taken me nearly maybe 20 years to truly manifest, but I'm finally here. <laughs> okay, because I just love um, turquoise water and the colour actually, turquoise is my favourite colour, just so you know. Um, and then being anywhere where there's a beautiful spa and wellness and yoga is also another um, thing that I truly love and spa therapy. So I'm going to now so you can see the beautiful water. And then just coming up here to the left, as you can see there's just turquoise and all the different colours of the water. So coming up here to the left is actually... These are the traditional dangyu, um, like boats, so the Maldivian traditional boat. And this is another style of accommodation, like luxury accommodation. And these are really cool. These are cute. I really like this style as well. So that's another um, option. But they're just so cute. It wouldn't matter where you stay here anywhere is just stunning and beautiful because you can just walk straight out to your walkway to see this. I just really love the walking along the walkways. It's so Maldivian, all the Maldives, but it's been really cool. So if you have any questions, let me know. I can answer them. I'd be happy to, or you can send me a private spirit girl message through the Facebook page. The other thing is if you're doing any of your own spa travel or you work in a spa, um, luxury spa, or you work in yoga, like you're a yoga teacher, a wellness um, lover, just if you're on social media, hashtag I am a spa it girl and then 
by hashtagging I am a spa it girl, you actually get to share your own spa it girl lifestyle or spa it girl holiday. So hashtag I am a spa it girl and then I'll get to see your holiday as well or where you're working at or what you're doing. And just so you can see. So we've just walked from over here and come along the walkway. You will actually see, just so you know, people doing cleaning and, you know, doing the rooms and the staff kind of getting around, but that's okay. They're really um, conscious of making things really private so they don't, um, you know, interfere in any way. But if you need their help, they're there to ask. But I just thought that was important to tell you. But they're just going about their day doing what they need to do to maintain everything. But the staff are always so respectful and you never have to worry about anything. But they're there if you need them. You can always call zero like I did yesterday to Ali and she answered that and it was so cool. So as you can see, there's a lot of sunshine. So especially for spirit girls who are in amongst winter here's some sunshine for you and hello madonna who's just joined in so if you want to join in you can subscribe also to the spirit girl live events and then you'll get a notification when i'm going live because i don't necessarily book these um live events i will post it but i just do this creatively when i feel energetically and spiritually and I want to share something really personal with you so this is really really cool so we're still walking I'm probably walking a little bit slower than I would normally walk but here's a coral nursery you can actually sponsor coral um, and then each time you come out to Como Shambhala, Coco Island Komokoka Island, they'll actually take you out to see your reef growing. Okay, because you know um, the Maldives is famous for white sand. So I'm actually going to take you on the beach to show you the white sand. I'm going to leave my sh Oops. Okay. So this is literally, it's a bit sunny, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. That literally sand that everyone talks about and that everyone dreams. Hopefully we won't drop out. Wow. So just so you can see how clear the water is, I just wanted to show you. So it is so clear. Yay, you're at the Maldives with me. <laughs> so you can just see how white the sand is and how clear the water is. And you can really swim anywhere. Like you'll get notification if anything's going on within the water. But generally where I was swimming... Or generally anywhere you'll see people swimming generally now over here is where the breakfast pavilion is so I'll be able to take you up there I'll just have to be a little bit quiet um, because there'll be actually guests there eating and stuff so I don't want to invade their privacy but there's this really beautiful pool at the front so I'll take you to that front part to show you where the pool is um, and then a little bit later on after I've done breakfast I'll do a live feed just from the Como Shambhala area just to show the yoga pavilion and like the little spa huts especially for our spirit girls who a spirit girl junkie like me who loves spas and visiting spas and luxury spa resorts. Hello everyone from the Maldives, from Komokoko Island. 
Yay. It's actually beautiful and sunny. Oops, wrong way. It's so sunny, I'm trying to see my turn it around. I love V blogs. It's so real, authentic, you can't fake it. Okay, right. Oh, this is so cute. I got this little bag in my room and I literally have just put my key in there. Hello, Kristen. Joyce is beautiful. Hello, Kristen Martin from the Maldives. Hello. Hello, everyone. Say hello and I'll do a shout out to you. Okay, right. So when I get up to about here, if I stop talking, it's just because I'm being really mindful of the guests, but I want to show you the resort pool, which you can go for a swim in also if you want to. Throw over. Seriously, I'll tell you, this throw over was $15 from Kmart in Australia, one of the cheapest shops. So you don't need to spend a lot when you go on a holiday. And I just want to make that clear because so many bloggers these days wearing like, you know, $2,000 outfits on their holidays. Well, it costs like $2,000 to fly here. So keep your money on your flights and accommodation and just find pieces of resort wear that doesn't cost you the earth. Okay. My bag. Morning. Good, thank you. This is a spot that I always like to sit at. This is like my spot. One of the Koma Shambhala, Coco Island people put me there and I love my spot. Okay, so I just want to give you a little sneak peek at Como, Coco Island breakfast time. But they also have an actual menu so you can get scrambled eggs, omelettes, you can get fresh fruit. Everything's really super healthy. I've been actually loving this muesli. They'll make you cafe latte, macchiana, whatever you want. And then they have all the fresh fruit, which I love. I've been eating lots of passion fruit since I've been here. They have all the fresh juices, watermelon juice, green clean, which is one of their signature ones, orange juice grapefruit juice so lots of juices I'll take you just out here now before I order my cafe latte and have a green juice okay so anyone that loves drinking cocktails wine champagne this one's for you this is the bar so you can just hang out here with your partner, your husband, your wife. You can even hang out here on your own. Um, it doesn't matter. This is just a really beautiful space just to chill out, have a champagne, have a mocktail, have a soft drink. And then before I go and have breakfast, I wanted to show you just here, which is the pool. Okay, so this one's for the bar lovers. Hey, Joe. Hello. Hi to everyone joining in from the Maldives. I'm just showing everyone the bar at Como Coco Island. So it's really cute and cool. Lots of space anywhere, really, just to hang out. So 
if going on holidays means swimming and drinking cocktails and wine and champagne for you, that's okay. You can still do that at Homo, Coco Island, as well as drinking green juices and having healthy food and doing yoga or going to the spa. It's really versatile. So I'm just going to show you this before I say goodbye. And a little bit later, I'll come live from Homo Shambhala from the actual yoga pavilion and the spa. So this is another really cool spot. Normally these are actually open a little bit later on, but you'll just see people generally just sitting around, laying around. But um, it's this breakfast time at the moment, the Maldives at Como Coco Island. But no one, you'll never be interrupted. It's so private because there's about 32 or 33 rooms going to be like your swimming your kids but if you've got here as well so I have seen a family here as well um, but in saying that you know even with family here just to a couple of kids I've seen it still, they don't even um, affect the peace and the serenity and the bliss in any way. So that's the little bar, that's the breakfast, lunch, dinner, restaurant, pavilion, that's the beautiful pool. And then that's my obsession, these grass huts which are everywhere. So I'm going to say goodbye, everyone, from Como Coco Island. I hope you enjoyed seeing a live vlog and my little sneak peek into just some of Como Coco Island, some of the best things. There's so much more here. There's so much to do if you're into snorkeling and they've got, you know, you can go out in the boat. There's so much you can do here. Um, and like a week here would be amazing, but even if you can only come for four, three, four, five nights, whatever you can, it doesn't matter. Just being here is, will truly make you feel amazing and beautiful. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Bye bye from Como Coco Island. I love you all. Thank you for being beautiful, big supporters of Spirit Girl and. I can't wait to help you live your dreams as well. So write down your dream after this and then work out a plan and stick to it. Love you all. Bye from now. Bye.